Hey, I'm Emma from GoDaddy's The Journey. And I'm Darlene from GoDaddy's How To. And we're going to show you how to accept online appointments on your Websites Plus Marketing e-commerce site. As social distancing is becoming the buzzword throughout the COVID-19 crisis, it's a great time to think outside of the box and find new ways to connect with your customers. As cities continue to shut down, we've seen reports of businesses finding unique ways to do just that. Yoga studios and karate dojos are doing Zoom sessions. Yeah, and doctors are turning to web conferences. And counselors are offering Skype and FaceTime sessions. So if you run a service business, stop and think of new ways to you can continue serving your clients and having the ability for them to set up an appointment or even schedule classes online can help you to keep your business alive during this very difficult time. Let me show you how to schedule and collect payment for online sessions using the appointments feature of your website's plus marketing site. Let's start in Website Builder so we can add the new section to our page. If you picked a theme in Website Builder for a service-based business, you'll see the appointment section over here in your My Site pane. If you don't have that section, you need to add it. It takes just a minute or two. Let me show you how. Select Pages and Sections and Add Section. This is where you would add the appointments and services section. We already have the section, so it's not an option for us, but if you don't, you'll see it, so go ahead and add it. Let's go back home. Once you have the appointment section, you're ready to dig into the appointment feature. Click Manage next to Appointments. We're now on the Appointment Setup page. This is where we'll set up our services as well as set the criteria for allowing bookings. Let's click the Add Service button. We have three options. We can add appointments, a one-time event, or a repeating class. For this demo, we're gonna focus on repeating classes. Let's give our class a name. We'll leave the default time of our class as one hour. You can add categories if you want. For example, if you wanna split the classes into groups, but we're not gonna add one right now. Now you're ready to add an image and description. We're gonna use a stock image. This one looks good. Next, enter a description for the class, then scroll down to the pricing section. In this section, you can set the amount and how you want to accept payments. We're gonna charge $25 and require payment in full. In the service location, we're gonna choose other since our class will be held online. I would add notes below that explaining instructions for how to access the class, which will be emailed to them when payment is received. In the staff members section, you can add other staff who will be conducting classes if you like. We're gonna leave ours as default for now. Enter the number of participants you wanna allow in the class. Since this is online, we're gonna go with the max of 300. Now you're ready to set your schedule. Let's choose March 20th as our start date and we'll check the box that says never end for the end date. Then we're ready to add the repeating dates and time. So click the link. Select the dates you want the class to repeat and then choose what time the class will take place. We're gonna offer our class Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. When things look good, click Add. Under Scheduling Options, select that we want customers to book an hour in advance. This will give us time to email them the instructions for how to participate online. When things look good, click Save, or Save and Add Another, which is what we're gonna do. Let me walk you through setting up another class. Now let's click Save. Now that we added two classes, let's continue with our setup. We're gonna look at different things we can add starting with payments. Click Update. Here you can choose your payment method, Square or PayPal. All you need to do is click Connect and follow the prompts to create an account or link an existing one. Let's see what else we can update. Click Continue Setup. Now choose Customer Reminders. This is where you can set reminders for your customers if you want to send them an email to remind them about their appointment. Let's Continue Setup again. 
and this time choose business hours. This is where you can set your business hours for booking appointments when your in-person classes resume if you want. Let's click continue setup one more time. We're ready to preview and publish. We're now in website preview. You can see the classes that we added. We know that online sessions aren't the same as face-to-face, -face, but this is just one way you can stay connected to your customers and still earn money during these trying times. I'm Darlene and that's Emma. Stay safe. Stay healthy.